Dynamics of Circular Motion. First up, in our discussion in Dynamics of Circular Motion, we're going to talk about the uniform circular motion. We have plenty of examples of bodies moving in a uniform circular motion. One of these is this illustration or figure at the right side. We can describe uniform circular motion with its the time it takes for a body to revolve around the sun, around the circle, and that's what we call period. And we can solve period using this formula to phi r over the speed or the magnitude of the velocity, wherein two phi r is derived by from computing this the circumference of this circle in studying the uniform circular motion it is important to keep emphasize that the velocity or the speed of the um the speed or the magnitude of the velocity is constant But it is also important to take note that in the circular motion, the direction of the velocity is changing. Thus, it signifies that an acceleration is occurring. So when a particle moves in a circular path with constant speed, the particle's acceleration is always directed toward the center of the circle. And also, it is perpendicular with the instantaneous velocity or the speed. Means the magnitude of the acceleration is constant and is given by the speed and the radius r of the circle by this formula. And by the way, this acceleration is what we call centripetal acceleration. The subscript rad is a reminder that at each point the acceleration is gradually inward toward the center of the circle and it is perpendicular perpendicular with the velocity we can express this centripetal acceleration in terms of period with this formula by substituting the value of the velocity Uniform circular motion, like all other motion of a particle, is governed by the Newton's second law of motion. Wherein, second law of motion says that force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Therefore, the force or the centripetal force in a uniform circular motion is equal to mass times substituting the value of the acceleration or the centripetal acceleration times the square of the velocity over radius. So let's have our first example in uniform circular motion. The wheel of a car has a radius of 0 0.29 meter and is being rotated at 830 revolutions per minute on a tire balancing machine. Determine the speed in meter per seconds at which the outer edge of the wheel is moving. So in this problem, we are looking for the speed or the magnitude or the velocity. And we know that the speed in a circular motion is equal to two phi r over t, where r is the radius and t is period. We already have the given for the radius and we have to look or find the value of period. And we know period 
is the time it takes for a particle or a body to revolve or to make one revolution in the circle. And using this um, rate of 830 revolution per minute, by getting the reciprocal of this, we can get the time per revolution, meaning it is the period. So uh, period is one revolution per the time it takes, 830 revolution divided by minute. So we can cancel now the unit for revolution. So 1 over 830 is equal to 1, 1. 0 1.248 times 10 raised to negative 3 minute. And since the unit required for the velocity is meter per second, let's convert this period into seconds. So we have to multiply 60 seconds over 1 minute to eliminate the unit of minute. Doing this, we can get the period of 0 0.072 seconds. So meaning for this wheel of a car, it takes 0 0.072 seconds to make one revolution. Now we can solve now for velocity by substituting the value of ratios and the period. So 2 phi times the radius of 0 0.29 meter divided by time or period of 0 0.072 seconds is equal to 25.21 meter per second. Let's have another example. A sled with a mass of 25 kilogram rests on a horizontal sheet of essentially frictionless ice. It is attached by a five meter loop to a post set in the ice. Once given a push, the sled revolves uniformly in a circle, circle around the post. If the sled makes five complete revolution every minute, find the force F extend on it by the rope. So the given in this problem are mass of 25 kilograms, the length of the roof, which is 5 meter. And we can say that this 5 meter is our radius because um, this roof is what cause for the sled to move around the foss in a circular motion. Therefore, its length represents the radius of the, um, the circle. So we are looking for force, or the centripetal force within the roof. So this force is toward the center 
along the uh, it is along the roof therefore this is the centripetal force and we can get the centripetal force using the formula of mass times acceleration the centripetal acceleration so we already have the mass so we have to look for the acceleration and acceleration centripetal acceleration is equal to is equal to b squared over r or in terms of period 4 phi squared r over t squared So since, since we have this given of one revolution per minute, we can solve for the period. So period is equal to one over five revolution per minute times 60 seconds or minute so that we can eliminate the unit of minute therefore we have twelve seconds for revolution So we can solve now for the acceleration, the centripetal acceleration, which is equal to 4 phi squared times r, which is 5 meter over time 12 seconds squared. Calculate this one. So the acceleration is 1.37 meter per second squared. And solve for the force, centripetal force, is equal to the mass, which is 25 kilograms times the acceleration of 1.37 meter per second squared. And we have... thirty four point twenty seven Newton. So kilogram times ma times meter divided by the square root of second is equal to Newton. Therefore the force is equal to thirty four point twenty seven Newton. Okay, so let's check your understanding in this topic, solve this problem, and write your answer in the comment section.